What is up everyone, Brandon here from Drumeo, and in this video we're going to be looking at one of the most iconic jazz tunes of all time. I'm talking about Take 5 by the Dave Brubeck Quartet with the legendary Joe Morello on drums. But what I want to prove to you in this video is that no matter what skill level you're at, this is a song that you can play along with. So, level one is what I like to call I've never played jazz. So if you're a brand new drummer just starting out, or maybe you've just never played jazz or swing music before, this is where I would start. So we're in 5-4 time, and all that means is we're going to be counting to 5 while we're playing along with the song. So let's load up the song and just count along with it from 1 to 5. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. So there you go. You can count to five along with the song. It's that simple. All we're going to do now, once we go to the kit, is we're going to be playing those five counts on the ride cymbal. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. So we were playing those five counts on the ride cymbal, one, two, three, four, five, and just adding in that bass drum on every beat one, just like you saw there. Let's try this along with the track, and even as a beginner, you can play this through the entire song and it's going to work out perfectly. Here we go, let's hear how it sounds. Level two, I like to call the jazz band drummer. So at this point, you're relatively new to playing jazz. Maybe you've played jazz in your high school jazz band, or you've just dabbled in this style of music before. All we're going to be doing at this point is adding in that 5-4 swing pattern. And the cool thing is, it's exactly the same as the one you would play in 4-4. We're just adding in one extra note. So over on the kit here, let's first look at the standard 4-4 jazz ride cymbal pattern. Right, that's just a basic 4-4 jazz ride cymbal pattern. All we're gonna do to make this work in 5-4 is add one extra quarter note to the very end. Really slowly, sounds like this. And of course, like we did in level one, we're gonna add that bass drum on beat one, just like Joe Morello plays. So it's that simple. We're gonna be playing that 5-4 ride cymbal pattern and then putting that bass drum on beat one. So let's load up the track and see what that sounds like with the tune. to level three, this is what I like to call the independent drummer. And that's because now we're getting into some three limb independence. We have the ride cymbal going on, we've got the bass drum on beat one, and then we're also gonna add in our hi-hat foot on beats two and four. So we're definitely getting into the world of independence there. So even something as simple as adding in that left foot can present a whole new set of challenges and that's why we're at level three. So the thing to note here is that first of all, this track is a little bit fast, so we're gonna have to work our way up to that tempo, so make sure you take some time to get there before you just jump right into the track. 
And the other thing to remember too that if you're coming from the world of rock drumming, where the main focus is playing that bass drum and snare drum, those are kind of like the heartbeat of playing rock and pop music. In jazz, we're dealing with our ride cymbal and our hi-hats. Those are our two most important voices when it comes to keeping time in jazz music. So that needs to be super strong, and that's why in level three, we're focusing on that ride cymbal pattern and the relationship with the hi-hat foot. So let's take this to the kit. Ride cymbal in 5-4 time with that hi-hat foot on beats 2 and 4, and then also adding in that kick on beat 1. So that's gonna take some time to get the hang of. Adding in that left foot is not the easiest thing to do right at the start. The other thing to remember, in swing and jazz music, our strong beats are beats two and four. And that's why when you see me playing this ride cymbal, you can see I'm almost dropping the stick on beats two and four. Something to keep in mind as you start developing your swing playing in jazz. So let's put this with the track and see what this sounds like along with some music. level four, this one I like to call, I play this at the jam session. So by this point, you're comfortable with the melody of take five, you're comfortable playing in five, four time, and maybe you've already played this with other musicians and you're really confident with that five, four ride cymbal pattern. But at this point, we're gonna be getting into some comping. And this is where we really get into how jazz musicians and drummers especially interact with the other musicians who are playing using our snare drum, our bass drum, the hi-hats, and sometimes even the ride cymbal. So, level four, we're gonna be adding in some comping on the snare drum, very similar to what Joe Morello does on the original track. So, over here, I'm gonna start with the ride cymbal pattern, then add in the hats on two and four, then the bass drum on beat one, and then lastly, add in that snare drum comping. Here we go, really slow tempo. So, definitely some four limb independence happening there between everything that's going on in that drum part. So when we talk about what's going on on the snare drum, what Joe played there, this is comping, and this is something Joe would have done to accompany or complement the other musicians that he was playing with in the Brubeck Quartet. Now, these aren't just random notes that he played. They would have been influenced by something he heard while he was improvising with the group. So just keep that in mind, we're learning this as a groove or a pattern, but when you're playing along with the song, there's a ton of other things you can do with the voices you have on the drum set. So let's load up the track and see what this sounds like up to tempo. made it here to level five, and this one I like to call Joe Morello. You go out, you buy a vintage kit, some dark sounding cymbals, and you sell your soul to the gods of jazz drumming. Oh. Now remember, the instant you finish it, I own your soul for... 
Well. So here in level five, we're gonna be playing the pattern that Joe plays right off the top of the tune. And there's some more intricate comping here. We have some dynamics in the snare part. There's some ghost notes on the second triplet partial of a few different beats. And let's break that down right now so you know what's going on. So really slowly, this is the full pattern that you hear right at the beginning of the track. So, to recap there, playing off of the head to get that authentic bass drum sound. Making sure beats two and four are strong and emphasized on the hi-hats. Making sure the ride cymbal is consistent, being the main timekeeper as we're playing through this. And then experimenting with different dynamic levels on the snare drum. Maybe playing that second triplet partial a little bit quieter, leading into that offbeat or the third triplet partial. So those are all things to consider as you're in level five of playing take five. Think about the overall sound that you're getting from the drum kit and really listen to Joe Morello on this track. That is the best way to figure out how to play it authentically. He's the one who did it and we can learn so much by just listening to his performance on that track and even in other live versions that he played as well. So let's load up the track here and see what this full opening pattern sounds like along with some music. five levels of take five. Hopefully I proved to you that no matter what skill level you're at, you can have fun playing along with this iconic jazz tune. So be sure to leave a comment below, let me know what level you made it to, and let me know if there's another song that you would love to see a breakdown of. With that, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.